In today's video, I will teach you how to enhance the colors in your photos using GIMP. Let's get started. First, start GIMP and open the photo that you want to enhance. Make sure to choose an image with potential for vibrant colors. Now right-click on the background layer in the Layers panel and select Duplicate Layer. This allows you to preserve the original image and compare it with the enhanced version. Now go to Colors, Components, then select Decompose. In the Decompose dialog, select Lab and click OK. This will create a new image with three layers, L for lightness, A for green and red, then B for blue and yellow. Now select the A layer in the Layers panel. Now go to Colors, then Curves. Adjust the curve by dragging it up or down. Moving the curve one square over from the center is usually effective for enhancing colors, but feel free to experiment for more vibrant effects. Now go to Colors, Components, then Recompose. This will combine the adjusted lab layers back into your original image enhancing the colors based on your curve adjustments. To further enhance your colors, you can adjust the auto levels. To do this, go to Colors, Auto, then White Balance, or simply go to Colors, then Levels. This will adjust the overall brightness and contrast of your image, and it is good for general enhancement but doesn't significantly boost the color vibrancy. And for a quick and easy way to make colors pop, you can adjust the saturation. To do this, go to Colors, then U in Saturation, then increase the saturation slider to enhance colors. A value around 40 is a good starting point, but be cautious not to overdo it as it can make the image look unnatural. And if you want to make an adjustment that is good for overall color and brightness control, you can adjust the RGB color space. To do this, go to Colors, Components, then select Decompose, and select RGB. Then adjust the curves for each of the red, green, and blue layers. This provides a strong color enhancement and light level adjustment. And if you want to add vibrancy and create a vintage effect, you can use the HSV method. To do this, decompose into HSV, then adjust the curves for saturation and value layers. This is less effective for pure color enhancement compared to the lab or RGB method. And if you want to darken the image and reduce color vibrancy, you can use the HSL method. To do this, decompose into HSL and adjust the saturation and lightness layers. This might be suitable for specific stylistic effects. And lastly, if you want something similar to the RGB but focuses on subtractive color mixing, you can do the CMY method. To do this, decompose into CMY then adjust curves for cyan, magenta, and yellow layers. It is often used in printing but offers minimal visual difference from RGB and GIMP. Experimenting with these different methods will help you determine the best approach for enhancing the colors in your photos. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.